بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم مظفر حسین سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ ان پاکستان اسٹڈیز ایٹ ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج ساہیوال ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو ان آن لائن کلاسز ایٹ ڈی پی ایس اینڈ انٹر کالج ساہیوال لیٹ اسٹارٹ آور ٹو ڈیز لیسن سبجیکٹ سوشل اسٹڈیز کلاس سکس جیوگرافی چیپٹر نمبر تھری چیپٹر نیم ارتھ ایز اے ہوم فار دا ہیومن بینگز Today we will discuss two topics of natural spheres of earth that are hydrosphere and biosphere. Learning Objectives Dear students, after watching this video lesson, you will be able to explain the concept of hydrosphere, explain the formation of hydrosphere, describe the importance and benefits of hydrosphere, explain the concept of biosphere, components of biosphere, importance and benefits of biosphere. Previous Knowledge Dear students, in the previous lesson you have learned about the natural spheres of the earth with reference to natural environment, the concept of atmosphere, the importance and benefits of atmosphere, the concept of lithosphere, the importance and benefits of lithosphere. Now we will discuss why Earth is called blue planet or water planet. Dear students, Earth is the only planet of solar system where life is possible. If we see the Earth from the space or satellite, it looks blue. Why earth looks blue? The answer is very simple. The surface of the earth is divided into two major portions that are land portion and water portion. Land portion covers 29% of the earth's surface while water portion covers 71% of the surface of the earth. This is the reason why our earth looks blue and it is called the blue planet or water planet. On the world map or globe, the water portion is shown by blue color. Therefore, it is called blue planet or water planet. Now, we will discuss the distribution of water. 97% of water is found in oceans and ocean water is salty and we cannot use it promptly. Large portion of water is in the form of ice sheets and glaciers. It is about 2.97%. We have only 0.03% water for use. Dear students, water circle or water sphere is called hydrosphere. Today we will learn about the hydrosphere of the earth. What is hydrosphere? Students, the word hydrosphere is made of two Greek words hydra meaning water and sphere meaning a ball, circle or area. It means area of water. It is also called sphere of water. About 71% of the earth's surface is comprised of water in different shapes that are oceans, rivers and lakes. This is also called hydrosphere. The hydrosphere includes water that is on the surface of the earth, underground and in the air. Water collects in clouds and then falls to earth in the form of rain or snow. This water collects in rivers, lakes and oceans. Now we will discuss about the formation of hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is made up of all the water on earth's surface from oceans and seas to lakes and rivers. Earth's water came from the rocks that form the earth and from the comets and asteroids that hit the earth. This water then dissolved minerals to form salt water seas. Now we will discuss forms of water. Dear students, water is found in different forms like rivers, 
seas, oceans, lakes, snow, rain, glaciers and eye caps. Now question is that water is found in all states of matter? The answer is very simple. Water is found in solid form like snow, glaciers and eye caps. It is also found in liquid form like rivers, seas, oceans and rainfall. When we boil the water and steam is generated, then water is in gaseous state. Now we can say water exists in all three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Students, now we will discuss importance and benefits of hydrosphere. It is the home for many plants and animals. It helps to regulate the temperature of the environment. It plays an important role in the existence of the atmosphere in its present form. Human beings get fish from hydrosphere. It is hydrosphere from where the water vapors enter the atmosphere by the process of evaporation. These water vapors turn into clouds by the process of condensation and produce rain which is beneficial for all forms of life on the earth. Hydrosphere is the source of irrigation. Hydroelectricity is generated from hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is the important source of trade, particularly international trade. Most of the international trade is carried through sea routes. River valleys and lakes attract tourists. Hydrosphere keeps the climate moderate. Dear students, now we will discuss our next topic that is biosphere. What is biosphere? Biosphere is the sphere of life comprised of plants, animals and human beings. It is dependent upon the other three spheres. In simple words, the biosphere is defined as the area of the planet Earth where organisms live, including the ground and the air. An example of biosphere is where live occurs on above and below the surface of Earth. The part of the Earth and its atmosphere in which living organisms exist are that is capable of supporting life. The sum total of land, water and air present on the Earth is called biosphere. It is the sum of all ecosystems in which living organisms are present. It is also called the domain of life. That's why life is possible on biosphere. Students, now we will discuss the components of biosphere. The biosphere is a component of earth that comprises life. It is composed of water, land and air to support life. These components of the biosphere form the hydrosphere, lithosphere and atmosphere respectively. Therefore, the stratosphere does not form a part of biosphere but is a layer of atmosphere. Students, now we will discuss the importance of biosphere. The biosphere is defined as the zone where both living organisms and the products of their activities are found. So it plays an important role to maintain the ecosystems that is the life of organisms and their mutual interactions. And biosphere is very important to regulate the climate. It is the layer consisting of air, water, and land forming the ecosystem for living organisms. Transfer of energy that is food chain. It is made of different biomes. It is made of biotic, abiotic and energy components. Recapitulation. Students, now we will discuss 
the key points of our today's lesson in the shape of questions. Question number one. On which planet of solar system life exists? The Earth is the only planet of solar system where life exists. Question number two. What is hydrosphere? About 71% of the Earth's surface is comprised of water in different shapes that are oceans, rivers and lakes etc. This is called hydrosphere. Question number three. What is the percentage of water on the surface of the Earth? 71% of the surface of the Earth is covered by water. Question number four. What is biosphere? It is the sphere of life comprised of plants, animals and human beings. It is dependent upon the other three spheres. Question number five. What is evaporation? The process of conversion of water into vapors is called evaporation. Students, now it is the time of assignment or homework. Read the page of the geography book number 36 carefully. Write answers of the given question on your notebooks. Draw margin lines. Write with blue ink and mention date and day on your notebooks. Give the short answers of the below questions. Question number one. What is hydrosphere? Question number two. What is biosphere? Question number three. What is evaporation? Dear students, hopefully you will have understood the lesson and enjoyed it. If you have any problem, please feel free to contact with us. May Allah bless you and Allah Hafiz.